Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at another reseller box. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. It's called The Deegans, and there's a link to it below, so go ahead and click on that if you see anything here you like. Alright, so this is another reseller box that my wife got online. I believe it's a consignment store reseller box, so I think it was, uh, I think it was a mystery box, but I'm not sure. So, let's look at some of the stuff we got in here. And right off the bat, we have something that's very good. <laughs> very, very good. We have a pair of Tory Burch heels. Um, so, they are red. They're red, white, and blue. So, those will be great going into the summer, right around that 4th of July time. Well, right around 4th of July. I don't know why I said 4th of July time. And they seem to be in pretty good condition. Now, and oh, they're six and a half, and they do have a leather sole. And these are not the only, well, that's not the only thing about these shoes. They also came with a bag. So I think this bag, that was in the box, so I'm assuming it goes with these shoes. So I think this is a bag for the shoes. So when we do ship them out, we'll be able to ship them out in this nice, nice cloth bag with the little Tory Burch uh, logo on it. And I believe that's a, yep, drawstring. So we'll be able to ship them out of that and that'll be real nice for whoever decides to buy those. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't recorded one of these in a while. I'm a little rusty. All right, up next we have a J. Crew Merce Mercantile. It is a small, and this is just a nice dress, um, pretty standard dress uh, with the flower pattern. Now it did have, it was new with tags, but um, somewhere with the shipping, um, the tag came off it. So I don't know we'll, how we'll list that. Um, it's new. It is new with tags. The tag just happens to not be attached at the moment. Oh, that sucks. But it's still a pretty good dress, so I'm sure it'll do just fine. All right, moving right along, we have an ATM. This is a small, oh, there we go. It's a small pair of pants. Um, and just a pair of blue, blue pants. Uh, the waist does have some stretch to it, so it's really easy to, they're small, but you can stretch out a little bit. And uh, they're pretty, they seem to be pretty, pretty loose fitting pants. Um, so just a pair of blue pants. I don't know the brand. I don't know the, uh, I don't know the style. So just move on to something that I know is good. Here we have a free people and that's not going to focus. Eh, they're kind of focused. Uh, we have a free people top. Uh, this is a extra small or a T Petite, which I guess is Tres Petite, if I remember my French. That's probably the only French I know. Um, anyway, this is a top. It has the lace top, and down the back it has uh, some lace goes a little bit further down on the back side. Um, and that's about all there is. No buttons, no zippers, no no flair, but free people, which has been doing just amazing for us. Like every other day, we're selling a piece of free people. It's, 
It's incredible. I wish we could get more of it. All right. Up next, we have an Everly. Um, this is, uh, you know, I don't think this is quite a dress. I'd say this is a tunic. This might be the first time when I've actually noticed that something is tunic length. Um, you see it has just this little, um, I guess those kind of are medallion patterns are on it. Um, but, let's see, is there anything else about this? No, not really. Um, I will mention that we did have one other piece of Everly, which I believe just sold last week. So I'm gl always glad to see, always glad to see stuff that sells. Always glad. I don't like to, we're not a warehouse, we're a, we're a closet. That doesn't make sense. We're, we're resellers, not re-keepers. We're not running a warehouse is what I'm trying to say. Okay, up next we have another free people top. Um, this is a size zero. Um, this is this is see through. Um, so definitely something that would you'd have to wear something underneath it. But let's see. And even though it has the tie up here, it also has a hook. So that will go right, yeah. So with that hook, this will go right around your, right around the neck. Um, so very, um, really a high neck piece. Is that even a thing? It's not like a turtleneck or anything, but it's just a slightly higher than a usual neck. Okay, moving right along. Let's see. Okay. We have a We the Free, which I believe is a Free People brand. Yes, it is a Free People brand. We have a New of Tags Free People brand top. Um, this says it's an extra small, but that looks like it might be vanity size uh, because this looks a lot. This looks a lot bigger than the. Um, other extra small we looked at. Anyway, um, it does tie here on the side, um, so maybe I just don't have it tied tight enough to make it an extra small. All right, and we only got a few more pieces in here, so let's try to get through them real quickly because I think I'm going a little bit long. All right, up next we have a torrid size two, and this is a shirt with buttons down the back. So you will have to do some, eh, I guess you could put it on backwards and then turn it around. I don't know how you'd fasten buttons in the back. I don't own any shirts with buttons that go in the back, but I don't really wear too many different shirts, which probably is obvious from my uh, from my videos. I have about like three or four shirts that I just rotate through. Uh. Okay, up next we have another Torrid, another size two, and what's unique about this piece is that it's sold. It's sold today. The whole reason I'm filming this video right now is because it's sold today. So I needed to set that aside. It will not be in a closet. Well, it'll be there, but it'll be marked as sold. Okay, I believe this is another... Yes, this is another Torrid size 2 with buttons down the back. So same style as that last piece. Just, um... Just with uh, some little butterflies or those moths. Uh, some type of little winged insect pattern on it. Now, next we have another torrid but this one is a size one so and are those no no that's just a trick of the light those buttons are those buttons are fake and they're in the front oh wait are they real buttons 
they are real buttons. So, this, this series of one, two, three, four, five buttons right there, spaced very close together, are in fact functioning buttons. In addition, we have the little tie, um, which I guess that's, yeah, it's around the neck. Hmm. Very nice. Now this piece may have sold. You know, the whole reason I'm shooting this is because I think there's two or three pieces in here that sold, and so I wanted to get this filmed before I shipped those out. All right, so moving right along to the other piece that sold. Maybe. One of these two. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a Torrid Size 3, as you can see, new with tags, and this is a semi see-through top with um, functioning buttons and an elastic kind of elastic around the waist so um, hmm that's interesting because it seems like it seems like this waist doesn't come in enough for them to need a for it to need elastic down there it feels like that would just hang and look kind of weird but I'm not I'm not wearing this shirt, so maybe I'm not thinking of the right body type. And last, we have a piece that may have sold, or may not have sold. I know one of these last two sold, because I remember seeing these uh, a torrid with a flower, flower pattern that sold. And this is another black torrid with a flower pattern. Uh, this one is another size 2, and like the last one, functioning buttons, um, but just a regular regular waist. So, um, yeah, this piece, pretty sure this piece sold. I'll just, I'll just let, let you take a look at the pattern there and then I'll toss it aside. All right. So I just shot this a couple nights ago and, um, got it listed and it's already selling. So really happy about that. Uh, as I always say, I like it when stuff sells fast. Um, stuff, if we're constantly moving inventory, that means we can constantly bring in new stuff. And that's going to keep us up there in the uh, Poshmark algorithm, I think. I don't actually know how the algorithm works, but I think listing new stuff seems to have some impact on it. So um, going off that theory, I'm happy. Yeah, that's a long-winded way of saying that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, click, like, subscribe, Comment, 